Patrick Young, thank you so much for speaking to us today. Pleasure. Yes. Now, you are with Cathay Pacific now. Tell us a little bit first about your current role at Cathay Pacific. Okay, what do you do? I'm the regional general manager for Cathay Pacific for both Taiwan and Korea. So anything uh, uh, within the, these two regions uh, that has anything to do with the Cathay Pacific group that include Cathay Pacific, Dragon Air, Dragon Air Hong Kong, come under my area of responsibility. Okay, so that's the day-to-day -day business? Does it Everything. Business, operation, and anything that has to do with uh, the branding of Cathay Pacific and Dragon Air and Air Hong Kong. Okay, so branding of the company, what advice do you have to entrepreneurs when it comes to branding their company and um, getting that name recognition, if you like. I mean, you've already got the name recognition, Cathay yes. Pacific, and it's a very strong one. Um, but in maintaining that quality, what, what advice do you have? Obviously, the, the branding uh, represents everything. And then the, all your products, services, uh, everything that your customers come across will enhance uh, the branding experience, uh, which means that uh, if anything goes wrong, uh, whether it's very small things, uh, they would think, ah, this is, is this a brand that I should trust or not. So having uh, continuous improvement in your product and services will be very important in ensuring your brand will continue to be supported by whatever customer segments uh, you're positioning to engage them with. What about the China market? Um, because you know everyone talks about oh, all these opportunities with China, but actually for some people it, they might be a bit um, hesitant or afraid or not know how to approach doing business with China and in China. You've worked in China with Cathay Pacific, so what did you learn there? What advice do you have? My experience probably was oh, you know, outdated. China <laughs> grows so fast. fast yeah. uh, yes, I did have some experience of working in China. Uh, it's definitely a very huge market. Mm. Many people see that as a homogeneous market, it's one China. But with 33 provinces and some the direct cities, uh, you're autonomous. You're actually dealing with uh, 30 plus different countries, uh, whether it's the first tier, second tier, third tier cities. They all have their local differences, uh, culturally, and also in terms of how the province is being run. So don't expect to have your brand uh, to be recognized in a city to be equally be well understood and communicated well in another city. So I think that poses the biggest challenge in having you want to have one brand across a homogeneous China. That is very, very difficult and challenging. And it's such a big market, uh, you need to have a lot of uh, resources, not just necessarily the cap uh, monetary resources, but other resources to make sure that your brand will be known in the way that you want them to be communicated. Mm, so the entrepreneurs here today, they want to tap into China. Do you think they should maybe focus on, like you say, one region, one area first? or? I think that would be a very good way to start a new business in China. Mm. Especially when the, the first tier city, the, they have really come to uh, the income that is high enough for some disposable income that can be used at, uh, for some product and services that will be trust in a brand that they know. Uh, researchers keep on telling that uh, brand that has been successful will be well supported and well received by the consumers. So if anyone is going to start up a new business in China, do think of the first tier first. Yeah. Okay, okay. And what about overcoming challenges? Because we're hearing a lot today about you know, people don't be afraid to fail, don't be afraid to make mistakes. But you know, sometimes there are so many challenges in front of entrepreneurs. What's your advice to them with just handling all these pressures? Don't show the everything by yourself. Oh really? Get a partner <laughs> or someone together to have a to complement uh, your strength or your weakness. Uh, to start up a new business uh, that will uh, make life a little bit more easier. Couldn't say it will guarantee success, but honestly, the shoulder and everything onto one shoulder uh, will be the very, very challenging. And do you do that? Is, is that um, advice that you put into practice day to day? Because you have a big portfolio here, general manager, Taiwan and Korea yeah. for Cathay Pacific, a big company. So. How do you keep on top of all of your work? General manager does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> no, I think more important is uh, uh, you have to have a well-built team yeah. that have the respect and the trust among each other. Because uh, sales is not just sales, operation is not just operation. It's all interrelated. So the team should be well bonded with each other. Mm -hmm. They should know each other well in the sense that uh, they will be able to support each other in their own respective fields. Mm. 
right. Any last advice for our young entrepreneurs before I let you go? Be optimistic. Tomorrow will be a new day, and there will always be new things to learn. Don't, don't stop uh, the learning opportunity. To, uh, always keep your minds open. Great. Good advice. Thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you.